What's up, Scrappy Peeps? Happy national, international, whatever national you are, scrapbooking day, weekend thing. I'm part of the Scrap Your Heart Out YouTube hop today for National Scrapbooking Day and welcome. If you just clicked here from someone else's video, hi, welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. And if you're an old regular, welcome back. Welcome back, Inklets. So today, I thought for National Scrapbooking Day, I'd treat you to a bit of a sneaky grab five. I know it's not Wednesday, but thought I'd chuck in a sneaky grab five. Now, if you're new to my channel and if you've hopped on here from somewhere else, um, a grab five is where I grab five products from my stash and I must use them in a layout. And I'm doing a, I think it's a nine by 12 or eight and a half by 11 layout today. So I've picked gelatos. A lot of people have asked me, how on earth do you use gelato? So I'm gonna show you a really easy way in this video. I'm also using some of these wood veneer words that I got from the reject shop here in Australia. I think they're about $4 a bargain around that. I'm using these gold, deliciously awesome, shiny, tiny word stickers that I got from Spotlight. And they even say you are rad. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have a vlogging channel as well called Mr. and Mrs. Rad, where I make videos with my husband. And I also have another channel called Let's Get Inky, if you want to head over there and if you're more of an art journaly planner type person. I've grabbed some Heidi Swap stickers, which I have used before in a video, and these Pink Paisley um, Cedar Lane embellishments. That's what they're from. They're from Cedar Lane. Now, if you haven't heard of a YouTube hop before, what the idea is, is that you start on a video and then in the description below, there's links to other people's videos and you just hop through them. That's, that's, that's why it's called a hop. Um, nothing to do with bunnies, unfortunately, but it is, that's what it's called. Um, so for this scrap your heart out hop, there are giveaways. So I will tell you what you need to do to win some of these amazing, amazing giveaways throughout the video. So stay tuned. The first thing I'm going to do is use some of this paper from the Shine uh, Crate Paper collection. And because it is the paper pad, it is a bit thin. So I'm going to attach my cardstock to it because it's just a bit, a bit thin and a bit ho-hum in um, its, you know, toughness. And I may have off camera already coated some uh, clear gesso on this piece of paper. Now, please excuse the lighting in this video. I filmed this video on like the most thunderstormy day that we've had in Australia, in my location for a very long time. And the weather was just going berserk. It was going bonkers and I couldn't get the lighting right. So I'd turn on my lights and then the clouds would go away and then I'd turn off my lights and then it would start thunderstorming, thunderstorming, that's a new word, and it just wasn't working. So please excuse the glare. I decided that I want to kind of do like a paintery type background. So I'm going through my gelatos and I took the colors from the clothes that the girls were wearing in this photo. This was a, um, this was a, bridal shower that I went to and if you're familiar with my channel this is the bridal shower for the hens party that I went to where we went horse riding. So I grabbed a couple of pink tones and you will see that one of the pinks is not as it seems in the container. It's kind of what I would call a mega hot pink um, which ironically was the color of my high school sports shirt. Yep we went to an all-girls school and they chose fire breathing hot pink madness it was ugh. and as a redhead I'm not a fan of the hot pink on myself I love it as a color but not on myself so I'm starting with the lightest color and I'm just mixing some um, modeling paste and my gelato and all I did to make the color go in is just kind of grind the gelato into that little plastic container and now I'm just using a plastic spatula that I got from an art shop and mixing in the next darkest color. And I'm just working like that, just so that um, I don't have to worry about wasting modeling paste because modeling paste is pricey. So adding in my next color, smooshing it around, there's still little chunks in it, but I kind of like that effect. And 
literally it's like buttering a piece of papery white bread <laughs> so i will repeat this for the next few colors this is a gorgeous coral color and i'm just smushing it in just this is a great activity if you want to get frustration out because you just smash the color into the modeling paste and mix it around with your spatula and then it's like delicately frosting a piece of paper afterwards so i really wanted to get some of those paintery type lines so i'm purposely not going very smoothly with my gelatos is this the hot pink one it could be yes yeah, so this is the hot pink one and i decided just to go with it because the coral that was already in there kind of dulled it down a little bit if i had done the hot pink straight into the uh, modeling paste by itself it would have been much brighter <laughs> much brighter than I wanted and then I'm adding some red because I like to mix pink and red I know that there's isn't there an old thing that you're not meant to mix pink and red but I don't believe it I like pink and red and this didn't turn out very red anyway so it worked out well so more red more more red so gelatos are pretty they seem to be pretty easily accessible now uh they're popping up in stores a lot more often than they were when i got mine so check your local scrapbook store or online shop or i think maybe like some of your american michaels maybe i'm not sure um i think I don't know if I imagined it. You know when you imagine or dream something and you're not quite sure if it was real or not, but I think I saw them at Spotlight. I'm not sure. This is my uh, fill it up empty. I need to have a name for it. This is my extra stuffs book. So when I've got extra paint or um, extra, you know, there's paint left on a stencil, I wipe it off in here. And I often use this for my paint palettes as well. Head over to my other channel, Let's Get Inky, and you'll be able to see more of my um, art journaling. And I will, this looks like a hot mess, but I will turn it into a beautiful page very soon. <laughs> Just showing you some sneak peeks there. So here, I did have to let that dry for a very, very long time. I dried it with my heat gun for a little while, but it was still quite wet. So I left that to dry overnight. And this was a scrap piece of paper that I'd already cut a bow out of using my die cutting. And instead of wasting it, I decided to fold it over and make it into my mat. So in my eyes, nothing is really ever a scrap until it's completely unscrappable. This still has lots of good space on it and it's exactly the width of a photo without any cutting. So all I did was tape the two ends and then folded the middle just to give it a bit of extra texture and a bit more excitement. Just using my double sided sticky tape to stick that down. So for the giveaway, if you would like to enter the giveaway, it's super duper easy. All you have to do is be a subscriber to Inky Quill, give this video a thumbs up and write a comment below about anything you would like to. There is a uh, Facebook page for the Scrap Your Heart Out um, YouTube hop for National Scrapbook Day. So have a look on YouTube, um, have a look on Facebook. I'll put the link down below for that. So all you have to do Subscribe to Inky Quill, give me a thumbs up for this video and put a comment below. Comment about anything, anything you'd like. Now this paper, I hoard it, I hoard it so bad, so I did cut the center out of it so that I can use it for later on. Now some of the prizes for today, we've got, we've got things from Shimmers, we've got things from the Cut Shop, from Tombow, from Click Kits, from Photoplay, uh, the Scrappery, creative retreat there's so many prizes to be won and all you have to do is those three quick simple little things so here back to the layout i'm using one of my beloved doilies thank you to the person who posted the link to those in scrapaholics anonymous my facebook group you're amazing because i was starting to get separation anxiety from my final doily that i got from studio calico before if you're a long time um inklet you will understand what i'm talking about and when I came across all of these available on Amazon, I squealed a little bit and did a bit of a happy dance. So I'm using a lot of tape to stick this down. And I think I use glue as well. Yep, using some glossy accents too, because when you stick things onto surfaces that have had mixed media on them, 
they're not, it's not as easy to stay things being stuck down. That sentence didn't make sense, but that's okay. (laughs) It's not easy and things do come off. So a lot of double-sided tape, hot glue would have done as well. Um, But I decided to go double-sided sticky tape and some wet glue for a bit of added protection. So I've used the gelato. I'm about to use the wood veneer. And now I'm opening up the Cedar Lane embellishments. Now, this was a fall themed um, line, but I'm going to show you that you don't have to use themed products for a themed layout. So this is quite obviously not a autumn themed photo. In Australia, we don't really, I don't know, I just seem like we don't really have that much of a difference between our seasons so I guess it's not as big a change the only thing that really changes with autumn is that it gets darker earlier some of the trees change but a lot of them don't Um, we have a lot of like eucalyptus and things like that that just are green all year round Um, so autumn to us isn't really a big change like I wouldn't I wouldn't really do a, a page on on autumn unless I was taking a cute photo of my feet in some autumn leaves so this collection was perfect to use because it had little floral elements in it and I'm saving those and cutting them in half and layering them between the layers and some little words I'm tucking in and yeah I really I really like the end result of this layout I like the um, the contrast between the rough textured painted background to the soft girly delicate elements on the top adding some little gold foil ones and I was tossing up for a little while of um, painting or doing something to those wood veneer but then I thought they wouldn't stand out as much so definitely check out if you're an Aussie gal or boy um, check out the reject shop they've got some great scrapbooking supplies lately Lots of little wood veneers and little embellishments. Just going through here, seeing what I can find. I've treated you to a bit of an extra long video today in um, in celebration of National Scrapbooking Day. So I hope you enjoy a bit of an extra long video. Let me know in the comments actually, how long is your ideal video? Because I've started to make the last few months, I've started to make my video shorter because um, Looking at the analytics, I saw that the average view time was about seven to eight minutes. So I decided to make my videos about seven to eight minutes. But let me know in the comments below what what length of videos do you like? Do you like short, sharp, under five minutes? Do you prefer um, about 10 to 15? Do you prefer long hauls? Um, what do you like? So let me know. Adding some hearts as is custom for an inky cool layout. I can't live without my gold little glittery hearts. I really need, I need like a, some sort of machine that if I press a button, it spurts out a glitter gold heart and I can pick which size it is without having to deal with computers. And I know, you know, things like big shots and cameos and silhouettes and whatever, they can all cut shapes, but I want a tiny little, machine like the size of a a roll of double-sided tape where I can just press it and be like can I have a heart please and then it will go okay and it will just cut me out a heart straight away that would be great adding some of the stickers that are floral from that Heidi Shine sticker sheet that I showed originally and they just go in seamlessly with these Cedar Lane flowers I just I'm a floral gal I do love a good flower and they just work really really well so the problem with this layout was I didn't want to make it too wordy and it was starting to get a little bit too wordy um, so I decided not to add any or many I think I might have only had one of those Heidi Swap word stickers because it was just getting too much I decided to do a little cluster up the top just to have that right hand side Um, have the cluster up the top and then the photo and then the cluster of the title so they're kind of my three big spots and then a little bit on the left hand side just to even it up slightly adding one of these little gold tiny word stickers which are adorable and they were really cheap and you got two sets 
in two sheets in the same packet. I think they say happy day and maybe hello beautiful, possibly. So I always, always, always reinforce um, things on mixed media layouts with glue, as I said before, and I think that's something really important because you don't want your things to fall off in five years time and have to go back and re-stick everything on. So it doesn't hurt. I know it's a pain when they're already adhesive, but it doesn't hurt just to go back and give them a little bit of extra glue. So with the video hop today, there's heaps of things going on. So we've got a video hop today. We've got a video hop tomorrow and a video hop on Sunday. So please make sure you check the description below to see where you need to go next. Um, there's lots of new up and coming YouTube channels too. So it'd be lovely to give them a bit of support. And I'm all about the kindness, you know, send them, um, give them a comment about something that you liked from their video so that they can grow and learn from that as to what their audience wants. I think it's really important that when you're starting off uh, a YouTube channel that you know what your audience wants so that you can create content that they enjoy. And it's also just nice to say something nice to someone, don't you think? So here, spirit fingers, I'm done. So let me know in the comments below what times you like for videos and also to enter for one of the giveaways, a random draw, subscribe to Inky Quill, give this video a thumbs up and leave me any comment you like. All right. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you very soon. A big thank you to our sponsors that you'll see at the end of this video and some stay tuned for some still photos as well. Bye.